There are four important goals that every home performance contractor needs to follow. Um, first, we want to make sure the house is healthy and safe to live in. Second, we want the home to be comfortable. Third, we want to make the home more energy efficient. And fourth, we want to make sure that we don't do anything to home to affect its longevity. We want to make sure that uh, all the decisions that we make and the retrofits that we do uh, don't decrease the life of the home. And the only way we can accomplish that is to take a holistic house as a system look. So we follow this house as a system approach and look at everything in the interrelations and interactions between every component in the house. A, a good example of this is take for um, a duct leakage. Um, the average home might have um, 25% duct leakage. We have uh, homes with our ducts oftentimes are in the attic, sometimes our duct work or distribution systems in the crawl space. And if this leaks, essentially what you're doing is paying to heat and cool all the outdoors. So for example, if you have supply duct leakage and these ducts are located outside the building envelope, that can cause the home to be under a negative pressure. And so um, if the home's under a negative pressure, that can cause air to infiltrate into all the cracks and gaps and substantially reduce the performance of your insulation. If you have excessive return air duct leaks, that causes your home to be under a positive pressure. And if you happen to have high humidity in your home, that can actually force warm humid air out through all the cracks, gaps in your building envelope and your walls. And when that warm moist air comes in contact with a cold surface, it can condense and cause lots of problems and even lead to mold. That's an example how a house as a system approach takes this into account. So in typical residential construction, we have many trades working individually and not communicating well together. So that prevents us from taking this systems approach. And so often when we don't take the systems approach, we get negative interactions. For example, the supply side duct leakage, which depressurizes the house, may backdraft a fireplace somewhere else in the house. Or worse yet, it may backdraft a water heater or furnace, which could actually pull carbon monoxide into the living space. And this oftentimes happens as a result of, of the, from the initial uh, time that the ductwork was installed. They didn't think too much about proper air sealing. And so this air sealing not only leads to a lot of energy efficiency issues, also can lead to life safety issues. Right. And of course, a home performance contractor would always actually measure the duct leakage and the airflow to make sure it's at its proper point. Another important role that a home performance contractor takes on is making sure that the equipment is sized properly. Oftentimes in residential uh, homes, the heat and air conditioning systems can be grossly oversized. And this leads to lots of problems in terms of the unit, uh, short cycling, so you have big temperature swings, stratification, issues associated even with humidity. And this is all a result of the fact that oftentimes the system is so grossly oversized. So a house as a systems approach not only looks at uh, how do I air seal the home, how do I make the insulation more efficient, uh, how do I even prevent backdrafting, it's really looking at the entire system and how that system interacts with all the features of a home and its occupants. Right. So as the name implies, you know, we want to have a home performance contractor that's looking at the whole system work on our homes. And again, the goal is to make your home healthy and safe to live in, more comfortable, more energy efficient, and longer lasting.